Welcome to Expedition Madagascar. In the next half hour, we'll take you on a behind the scenes journey through Henry Dorley Zoo's newest exhibit. We'll introduce you to the staff responsible for promoting conservation and education throughout several Malagasy communities. We'll visit with Dr. Ed Lewis to discuss Henry Dorley Zoo's role in protecting native species unique only to Madagascar. Botanist Marge Fromm will discuss her role in repopulating native orchids in regions that have been deforested. We'll also learn how the zoo works with the local Omaha and Malagasy communities to improve relations between the two. Thank you for watching Expedition Madagascar, brought to you by the Iron Workers Local 21, the International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers Local 22, and the National Electrical Contractors Association, the Steamfitters Union 464, and the Mechanical Contractors Association of Omaha, and your Action 3 news station. The way this exhibit came about is a little different than the way most of exhibits came about. It came about because of a prior research and conservation commitment we'd had in Madagascar. And we wanted to be able to tell our guests more about what we do as a zoo. It, we didn't have a place to tell that story, and so the Madagascar exhibit came about to tell the story of a conservation commitment of this staff, of this community, uh, to wild animals in wild places. more than just exhibiting animals. There's a commitment to in-country conservation. There's a commitment to education. And that's what exhibits are. They're like living classrooms for us. A lot of classrooms have snakes and tarantulas and things in their science rooms. But the chance to have the largest collection of Malagasy animals in the United States all in one place uh, makes the learning opportunity so much better with interpretive graphics. And there's nothing like a living animal that, whose eyes you can stare into. Everybody's used to the lions and tigers and bears and elephants. Uh, but to see a mongoose lemur, a tomato frog, a cat-eyed frog, a tree boas, rainbow fish, and black and white rough lemurs, that's a repertoire of species that people aren't very used to. And some of them are really strange, like the eye eye, whose niche is basically that of a woodpecker, only he's a mammal that lives at night in, in the forests of Madagascar. So it's a very different collection of animals uh, that I think people are going to find very interesting. I think the country's not very well known and they're going to learn a lot about the country too.